I am Don Sisson with the Chase County Historical Society in Cottonwood Falls, Kansas. I am the curator and director there. We are a historical society, so our mission is to collect and preserve the history of Chase County. We have nine rooms of displays. Uh, when you first walk in, the first building is the Carter Building, and we have a Rockney uh, Studebaker there and a Rockney plane crash uh, display at the back. If you walk next door to the old bank building, there are eight rooms. There is a domestic room, a military room, a school room. You can take the staircase upstairs to four or five rooms upstairs. There is a western and rodeo room which features the Flint Hills Rodeo Roberts family, a full dentist office and partial doctor office, post office and telephone, room. There's what we call Devil's Lane, which is barbed wire, and on the opposite wall is our ranches that we feature. There's one small room off of the hallway that I call it the courthouse room because it's got furniture out of the courthouse, but it's just kind of lots of community items. So we are going to be having a sesquicentennial for the anniversary of our courthouse. Uh, it was Beginning to be built in 1871, it was finished in October of 1872. So in 2022, in the fall, we will have a sesquicentennial. This book was put together uh, during the bicentennial in 1972, and we would like to take and add the next 50 years to this book and reproduce it. So look for this in the future. When you look at it, why is it important to have the Chase County Historical Museum there? We, besides having a museum of all local things that are donated, uh, we do not purchase anything. So we've been very fortunate people have brought things, but we also have a genealogy department that is very active. People come in and will do research on their families. This book was put together by a family member and um, they came in and did their research and got pictures for their book on the McNee family. So that's just an example of the kinds of things I have. Um, it's kind of like doing treasure hunting mysteries. And it may not just be families, it may be something in Chase County. What's the biggest need that the Historical Society has? You know, we live on a very tight budget. Um, the budget that the county gave us, we came within $7. So if we don't have funds outside of that, we just survive. So we are very thankful for all the donations that we get so we can uh, keep our buildings going, um, extra supplies, extra activities and events that we, we do. You've been a match day before, and um, what are some of the things that you've done with your money from match day? Uh, I was really excited, I know it's not a very big item, but new blinds. We had really old blinds and with artifacts you have to have special blinds to keep the light out to keep them safe and so we purchased new blinds. We have uh, purchased a new air conditioner and heating unit. We had none upstairs in either one of our buildings and we were able to put the units in both buildings now. We have also um, just a, an, we weren't expecting it, but the uh, roof, we had a high wind and the roof got peeled back. And so we had to spend some money having the roof repaired. And we, if we hadn't had that money, we, I, I really don't know where it would have came from, but <laughs> um, we have been kind of saving back. The rock on the outside of the building really needs repair. The south wall is not big blocked stone like the rest of the building and so it needs rechinked or mason work done on it because it allows all kinds of soot into the building so that's where we're really working towards these are my people this is my history um, i say it's not like going to work it's fun <laughs> It really is a fun job, but besides the museum brings people in. I love people. I get to meet new people. I get to learn about them and their history, and I get to share who we are, who Chase County is. Um, I love to tell stories. <laughs>
Why should people contribute to the historical society? I think it's, it's preserving our history. And not only do the locals get to enjoy it, but so do anybody else that comes to town. Um, and we do have quite a few that are even international that will stop in and see us. So I think it's just being able to uh, keep those stories alive and keep the museum open so they can see who and what we were and are.